Hello friends, I am Dr. Vikram C. Pawar Patil and I heartily welcome to all of you in this today's session. Today we will discuss how to extract climatic variables with temperature precipitation database of our area of interest by using Diva GIS software as well as World Climb database. So friends, as you know that climatic database is essential to carry out many projects. For example, suppose somebody wants to study urban heat island or somebody is interested in doing study of irrigation water management or surface runoff analysis. So many kind of studies uh, required climatic database. So with the help of World Climb Database and uh, Diva GIS, we can easily extract climatic variables of our area of interest. So for the extraction of uh, climatic variables, we need World Climb Database as well as boundary of our study region. So friends, we are going to import here the boundary of uh, my study area. I wish to extract climatic variables of uh, Kolapu district. So by using this uh, plus icon, add layer icon, I have imported this boundary of uh, Kolapu district, Tasil, uh, Tasil wise layer of a uh, Kolapur district. This is in shape file format. So for the extraction of uh, climatic data, we need to explore this data option, which is here. I have just clicked up this one. And within that data option, there is a, there are three options, basically point, map, and make climatic files we are going to explore these two options. So I'm going to click this map option. So here is the minimum X, maximum X, minimum Y, maximum Y, that uh, X, Y coordinates we can assign or we can use this read from layer option for the analysis or we can draw the rectangle for the area of interest. Here climatic database that we have already downloaded from DivaJS website. This is the World Climb 2.5 minute gridded database of uh, climate. Here is the options which is there. So if suppose we need to have precipitation database. So we can use this annual option period or uh, we could have this January, February month wise database. We need to give the output folder here. So I'm just uh, putting this grid files here in Kolapur climate folder that I have already prepared and I'm giving the name annual precipitation that that name I have given to the this obtained database and just by clicking this option you will have please look at that you will have annual precipitation of uh, Actually, this is the database of uh, average annual pre precipitation that has brought here. The time period of uh, this uh, average annual database is of uh, 1950 to 2000. So with the help of 50 years data of uh, uh, precipitation, we are having this annual precipitation data of Kolapur district. We can do this same process for for the temperature also mean temperature is there suppose 
we need to have mean temperature variable of our area of interest then we have to select this output mean temperature annual or we can extract for particular month also look at that i'm just changing the sequence of layers look at that this is the annual temperature mean average annual temperature of uh, kolapur district that we could say that this eastern part of uh, district is having higher temperature than the western part because this is the western ghat region so that's why temperature is lower one so with this climate option there is another option that is known as point option suppose we want the information or database of a particular point then for that sake we need to use this point option i am just exploring this one suppose you want to have the climatic variables of this particular point look at that i have just made click here and uh, we are having x y of that particular location we are going to explore this world climb so i have selected this one we are having minimum temperature maximum temperature as well as precipitation database uh, of uh, each and every month of the year as well as annual average of the these one we can create the graph look at that graphical representation of temperature and rainfall statistics suppose somebody is interested in bioclimatic variables then he may have this annual mean temperature mean monthly temperature range as well as also thermality temperature seasonality like that precipitation characteristics all kind of database that we could extract and we can copy this database we can use this copy button for for copying this database and we can we can uh, put it for the further analysis so friends as this way we could study climatic database by using world climb data as well as diva gis so friends if you like this video then please subscribe my channel as well as share this video thank you for watching this video